Jake Nelson, not just a fan favorite, but also one of the most durable heavyweights in MMA today. And tonight, Big Country will be looking for a highlight finish against Dave Herman. Possessing the knockout power that makes fight fans love the heavyweight division, Dave Herman and Roy Nelson are two of the top finishers the weight class has to offer. So when the bell rings, expect nothing less than a spectacular ending. I know Dave wants to stand and bang, so let's do it. I'm gonna reward him with one punch and knock him out. Roy comes out ready to slug, and so do I. I'm going for knockout of the night, and if I don't get that, we'll get fight of the night for sure. In his 21 pro victories, Dave Herman has only let an opponent hear the final bell once. And though he comes from a Division I wrestling background, it's his fists that have done the talking over the years. Tonight, he gets his sternest test to date in Roy, Big Country Nelson. I know Roy Nelson's a hard guy to finish, but that's what I'm here to do tonight. I'm gonna knock him out in the first round. When it comes to heart and determination, few can compare to heavyweight contender Roy Nelson, having gone the distance with Junior Dos Santos, Frank Mir, and Fabricio Verdum, the Las Vegan epitomizes toughness. But tonight, he'll have to show off the full range of his MMA skill set to beat Dave Herman. I'm gonna go in there and knock Dave Herman out, or I'm gonna submit him. It's either one, but the fight's gonna be finished. it up that his offensive attack with punches and kicks a member of team quest in temecula california home of the former pride champion and the top contender in 205 dan henderson herman in addition to his fine striking prowess has been working his brazilian jiu-jitsu game aggressively that said it will not be at the level of roy nelson's yeah, he is an outstanding wrestler, though, and a very physically strong guy. He's got good power in his strikes. The question is, is he really going to stand and trade with Roy Nelson, a man who's known for his one-punch knockout power? Dave Herman's quite a character. When he was asked when he started training, he said, right after my first professional loss, because I didn't want that to happen again. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know if he's telling the truth if he took a fight without training at all, but I, I wouldn't doubt it. A uh, wrestler? Yeah, he probably did. Probably did. Probably did. <laughs> Dave Herman said a moment ago that he will become the man to finish Roy Nelson in the first round. If he does so, he will do something that Junior Dos Santos was not able to do. Fabricio Verdun was not able to do. Roy Nelson has never been finished inside the octagon, and he has won all three of his fights in highlight real fashion. His eighth year as a professional, a fan favorite. His last mixed martial arts win by submission was in 2006, and Roy Nelson is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Henzo Gracie. Also has done Kung Fu for years. Yeah, I didn't know about that until recently. I, I watched a video where he's explaining how he's been doing Kung Fu since he was a young man and practices sticky hands and various Wing Chun techniques. He's just a very diverse mixed martial artist. Tries all kinds of things. And check that beard out, ladies and gentlemen. That is just ridiculous. That that's, is a playoff beard extraordinaire. That's a, there's a lot of padding in that, too, I think. That's got to protect you a little bit from punches. I mean, not much, but something. And I still wouldn't want to get punched wearing that, but... Roy Nelson has really strong hands. Outstanding one-punch knockout power and a lot of confidence in that ability. And he also has a substantial amount of submission and wrestling skills to go with that. It should be noted that Roy Nelson's original opponent on tonight's card was Gabriel Gonzaga. Nepal got hurt. Then it was to be Bigfoot Silva. Now Bigfoot will fight against Cain Velasquez. So this is the third opponent that Roy Nelson has had to prepare for. Will that make a difference? 
I guess we're going to soon find out. Dave Herman and Roy Nelson. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight is brought to you by Metro PCS. Wireless for all. Big country, eight years, the elder of Dave Herman, who is four inches taller, about 20 pounds lighter at the weigh-ins. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is sponsored by Zenergy, powered by Giants, the great-tasting, sugar-free, zero-calorie energy drink, the official drink of the UFC. UFC Undisputed 3, in stores now, your move. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional records, 21 wins, three losses, standing six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 233 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, Dave Harmon. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kung fu fighter. Holding a professional record, 17 wins, 7 losses, standing 6 feet tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, he is the Ultimate Fighter Season 10 winner, Roy Big Country Nelson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Steve Mazzagatti. Steve Mazzagatti, our referee for this heavyweight battle, the beautiful Brittany. Sold out, MGM Grand Garden Arena. There's Ariani. Great to see Ariani right, here tonight. Off, come on. Big Country and Dave Herman. Tonight's clock brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. The teep early. Black and red trunks for Herman. White trunks for Country. Four inches of reach and height. The advantage for Herman. Thus trying to keep Big Country on the outside with those teeps. Nice knee. Herman trying to fight long. Yeah, he's fighting tall. It's an excellent move on his part. He looks great. Big Country. At 51 seconds at the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Roy Big Country Nelson. 